Well, good morning. It's Saturday and welcome to our daily prayers. Here I've got a picture of a huge tree trunk on Western Beach washed up. It is astonishing the power of the sea and what it can bring up. Presumably this was from somewhere up the Severn or Y Valley that had floated its way down. I wonder what things you've seen on the beach that have been washed up from time to time. And so as we come to prayer now, say we remember those across Western, those across the whole of the Severn Valley, those across the whole of the UK and the world who pray with us as we come to God now. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. For those of you who have been following the daily prayers, you'll know that we've been looking at the life of Joseph in the latter chapters of Genesis. And we're continuing to reflect on that, but we're going to use a different Bible reading. Um, the circumstances that poor old Joseph has been working hard in the Egyptian palace where he's found himself, the Potiphar. But Potiphar's wife falsely accuses Joseph of wanting to sleep with her. And poor old Joseph is thrown into jail as a result. I think, as I said yesterday, there is nothing worse, I think, than being falsely accused. But this is what happened to Joseph. The thing I want to reflect on this morning is that God can use even the most horrible things for his purposes. The verse I'm looking at is in New Testament Hebrews 12 verse 6. Because the Lord disciplines the ones he loves, he chastens everyone he accepts as his son and daughter. It's a tough verse really because it reminds us that God can use difficulties to build us up. Now there are difficulties, and I don't want to be simplistic about that, where things are so hard that they just break people and they're just wholly, wholly wrong. I'm not so much talking about those. And yet some circumstances God will use, even if they weren't from him in the first place, God can use them. I wonder if you've seen hardship in that way as an opportunity for you to depend on God if I'm honest, to toughen up at times. But also to know, even if something seems impossibly hard, that God is in it with you and he understands suffering because his own very son suffered upon the cross. Maybe you'd like to pray about that now for yourself or maybe pray for a friend who's really going through it at the moment. And so is our Saviour towards us. So we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. And so may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, a grace which comes with us and keeps us going no matter what our circumstances, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all, now 
and forevermore. Amen.